This is a video about digit sum and divisibility rules. It's a video number W6. It's a sixth video for a one day workshop. Okay. Let us continue. Line of this video is we have sections on digit sum, what digit sum is, how to compute it, a section on Vedic square, what is what's Vedic square is and how to get the Vedic square. And divisibility rules, divisibility by 3, 6, and 9 using digit sum. Okay. So we, it's all about digit sum, where the square is made up of digit sums, and we, we will compute divisibility by 3, 6, and 9 using digit sum. Let us continue. The digital sum is, digit sum of a number is sum Repeat it if necessary of digits of that number to result in a single digit. So we are adding the digits of a number repeatedly if necessary and we want to get into a single digit of the answer. That single digit is digit sum of that given number. Okay, let's look at example here. Let's look up number is 6483 and I'm trying to compute digit sum of that number. So we say we're going to add the numbers together. It's sum 6 plus 4 plus 8 plus 3. I still have a digit sum as a operand here. So because I want to end up with a single digit and when I add these numbers up, I get two digits. Let's continue here. So that means if I 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 8 is 18, 18 plus 3 is 21. So now I'm going to do, do digit sum of 21. That's repeated if necessary, which it said, repeated if necessary. So I'm going to repeat that again. So 2 plus 1 is 3, and digit sum of 2, 1 is 3, and that means digit sum of 6, 4, 8, 3 is 3. Okay. Let's, let's continue here. Now we'll do digit sum of numbers, natural numbers starting from 1. So we'll walk down the number line from 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, and compute the digit sum. Let's continue here. First number is 1, and it's on single digit. Its digit sum is 1. Next number is 2, single digit, digit sum is 2. Then 3, digit sum is 3. 4, digit sum is 4. 5, digit sum is 5. Single digit still, digit sum is equal to the number. 6, digit sum is 6. 7, digit sum is 7. 8, digit sum is 8. 9, digit sum is 9. Okay, let's see, repeat, uh, look at these numbers again. When we divide 1 by 9, remainder is 1, and that's the digit sum. When we divide 2 by 9, remainder is 2, which is digit sum. When we divide 3 by 9, remainder is 3, that's the digit sum. When we divide 4 by 9, remainder is 4, and that's the digit sum. Okay, when we divide 5 by 9, remainder is 5, and that's also the digit sum. When we divide 6 by 9, Remainder is 6, and so is the digit sum. When I divide 7 by 9, remainder is 7, and so is the digit sum. When I divide 8 by 9, remainder is 8, and so is its digit sum. When I divide 9 by 9, remainder is 0, and digit sum is 9. So digit sum is the remainder, digit sum of a number is remainder of the number when it's divided by 9, except when Remainder is a 0, digit sum is 9. Let's continue with the other uh, more digits here. Next number is 10. 10 has two digits. We could add them together. 0 plus 1 is 1. So digit sum is 1. Number is 10. Digit sum is 1. When we divide 10 by 9, remainder is 1. Let's continue. For 11, 1 plus 1 is 2. And when we divide 11 by 9, remainder is 2, which is digit sum. Let's look at next number, 12, and remainder is uh, 1 plus 2 is 3, digit sum is 3. If I divide 12 by 9, remainder is a 3. Let's go next number here, 13, 1 plus 3 is 4, digit sum is 4. If I divide 13 by 9, remainder is 4, which is digit sum. Okay, 14, 1 plus 4 is 5, digit sum is 5. If I divide 14 by 9, remainder is 5. Okay, next number. For 15, 1 plus 5 is 6, digit sum is 6. If I divide 15 by 9, remainder is 6. So let's look up here, and let's continue. Observation, digit sums repeat after 9. So let's see what's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
okay so it's a periodic with a period of nine and each period has this number one two three four five six seven eight nine and in that sequence okay and zero and nine are equivalent because if i divide nine by nine remainder is zero but digit sum is nine okay let's continue okay nine point circle Nine point circle has nine points one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then a number ten also has the remainder of one and digit sum one. So they repeat. Okay. Uh, let's continue. Circle has nine points label one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We just say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, let's continue. Let's do examples here again. Digit sum of 2, 3 is digit sum of 2 plus 3 and which is 5. Digit sum of 3, 7, 6 is digit sum of 3 plus 7 plus 6 and which is 10 plus 6, 16 and which is 7. So 10 plus 6, 16. 16 has two digits, 1 and 6. 1 plus 6 is 7. Let's look at another example here. 187, 187 is 9 plus 7. 1 plus 8 is 9 plus 7. Okay. And that's 1. Digit sum of 16 is 1 plus 6 is equal to 7. So digit sum of 9, 7 is 7. So 8 plus 1 was 9. That's 9 plus 7 is 7. And and digit sum of 7 is also 7. Okay, let's continue. Presence, uh, so we had 9 here. They didn't change the digit sum. If I had a 7 by itself, digit sum is 7. Presence or absence of 9 did not change the digit sum. And we can cross out 9s. Okay, when I'm trying to compute digit sum, we can cross out the 9s. So in here, this 5 is a digit sum. It doesn't tell me which digits got added to become get a digit sum of 5. It only knows digit sum is 5. You could say 2 plus 3 is 5, 1 plus 2 plus 2 is 5, 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 5. So I only know that there was a number whose digit sum is 5. We had a number that's digit sum. If I have a 5 as digit sum, I don't know the number. I can't go back. It's Mapping is only one way. So digit sum of 23, digit sum maps 23 into 5, and I cannot get... 23 back from 5. Okay, let's continue. More examples here. So we do a digit sum 81751. Okay. In this number 81751, do you see any 9? There is 1, 8 plus 1. Okay. So let's cross that out. Okay. So it's say now I've got 751 left. Okay. That's digit sum of 751 is digit sum of 7 plus 5 plus 1 which is digit sum of 13 and which is 4. Okay, let's continue. Another example, 5, 2, 7, 4, 4. See any 9 in here? This 2, 7 is, okay? 2 plus 7 is 9, so let's cross that out. It's equal to digit sum of 5. If you cross these out, I get a 5, 4 left. 5, 4, digit sum of 5, 4 is 5 plus 4, which is 9. Okay, let's, another example here. Digit sum of 1, 0, 3, 1, 8. Any 9 see in here? Is 1, 8 is a 9 here, 1 plus 8 is 9, so I'm going to cross that out, and which is equal to digit sum of 1, 0, 3, which is equal to 4. Okay, let's do some exercises here. Compute digit sum of the following numbers, okay? So try 2, 2, 2, 9, 6, 7, 0, 3, 8, 2, 9, 1, 0, 1, 3, 7, 3, 1, 4, 2, and some more. Okay, we are next section now here, and in this section we'll discuss Vedic square, what Vedic square is, how do you compute a Vedic square, and what good it is. We would use that Vedic square to determine divisibility by 3, 6, and 9. But let's first find out what where the square is and let's continue. Continue with uh, let's look at multiplication table. And uh, here is a multiplication table we all have seen, and this is a I got this table from a teacher's manual. The first is counting by one, next is counting by twos, that's two, four, six, eight, ten, etc. etc. That's 
table of two. Two times one is two, two times two is four, two times three is six, and so on. This is a table of fives. Five times one is five, five times two is ten, five times three is fifteen, five times four is twenty, and so on. And here, the, let's continue here. In this table, numbers do not repeat as many times. First, there is only one one. Okay, two happens twice, and three happens th twice. Four shows up once here, and once here, and once here. Okay, and so on. 81 happens only once. 64 happens only once. Okay, 56 happens twice, once here, and once here. This is the main diagonal here from top left to bottom right. And there is symmetry around this li uh, line here. So two here and two here, three here, three here, four here, four here. The so ten here and a ten here. Okay, and so so there's symmetry, okay? There's symmetry about the main which is top left to bottom right diagonal. Let's continue. This is a Vedic square and I got this square of by replacing the entries in the multiplication table by their digit sums. Okay, so and this table also I got from a teacher's manual. Let's continue here. So the numbers have been replaced by their digit sums. Okay, let's continue here. In this table, numbers repeat more often. Let's see what's going on. I mean, one is here, one is here, one, 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 and one. There was only one happened showed up only one in this column in the multiplication table. Okay, we still have symmetry. This this is the main diagonal here. Okay, and this nine here and nine here, two and a two, six and a six, and this is the so it's a three and a three and a six and a six, three and a three. Okay, so there's still symmetry about the main diagonal. Okay, continue here. Okay, let's continue with next section. We would discuss the divisibility rules by 3, 6, and 9, and we will use a Vedic square to do that. Okay, let's continue. We'll con look at the pattern for 3's table, which is this line here. It has number 3, 6, 9, 3, 6, 9. So that means it has number 3, 6, 9, and repeat, and this number line we came from multiplication table for threes okay that means a digit sum of three six and nine means a number is divisible by three okay? Okay. all these numbers are divisible by three because i got these digit sum from numbers which were multiple of a threes okay let's continue here a number is divisible by three if and only if it is digit, digit sum is in three six nine if it is some either 3 or 6 or 9, then that number is divisible by 3. Let's continue. So look at 6 table, which is the 6 line here, which starts 6 here. And now numbers are 6, 3, 9, 6, 3, 9. They repeat 6, 3, 9. Same 3 numbers, 3, 6, and 9 in different order. Okay? This row comes from 6 is multiplication table. So these numbers, digits sum all came from multiplication table from of 6 and all the entries in the multiplication table for this row were multiple of 6 and were divisible by 6 so for a number to be divisible by 6 its digit sum has to be in 369 again but it also has to be e1 okay? the same digit sum are also in same three three tables so three table also has the same number 369 639 okay Okay, let's continue here. A number is divisible by 6 if and only if it is divisible by both by 3 and a 2. If a number is E1, which is divisible by 2, and its digit sum is in 3, 6, 9, that number is divisible by 6. Let's continue. Look at the pattern for 9's table. 9's table is either the last column or are the last row okay let's continue from the last row and last column you notice that digit sum of 9 times m is 9 so this is a 1 times 9 and this is 9 times 1 this is from 9 times 2 9 times 3 and this is 1 
uh, 3 times 9 and this is from 4 times 9 okay and so on so this is a 9 here last column 9 here in last row okay and these numbers in this row this column and this row in multiplication table were multiples of 9 and those were all divisible by 9 so this digit sum is from a number which was divisible by 9 Let's a number is divisible by 9 if and only if its digit sum is 9. Okay, let's continue here. And magic. Any number multiplied by 9 becomes 9 in the digit sum sense. So let's see what I mean by here. This was 1 times 9 is 9. So we're 9 here. This thing was 2 times 9 was 18 here. 18 became 9 when we did digit sum. This thing was 3 times 9 was 27 was here. And digit sum is 9. Same here, 9 times 1 is 9, 9 times 2 was 18, and digit sum is 9. 9 times 5 is 45, and digit sum is 9, okay? Any number multiplied by 9 becomes 9 in the digit sum sense, okay? Let's continue. Let's restate those rules of divisibility. Divisibility by 3. A number is divisible by 3 if and only if its digit sum is in the 3, 6, 9 set. Either it's 3 or a 6 or 9. If digit sum is either 3 or 6 or 9, that number is divisible by 3. Let's continue. Divisibility by 6. A number is divisible by 6 if and only if it's divisible by both 3 and 6. So that means if digit sum is 3, 6 or 9 in that set and also it is even number. Okay, let's continue here. Divisibility by 9, a number is divisible by 9 if and only if its digit sum is 9. So for 9 is the, the magic thing we talked about. Its digit sum is 9, that number is divisible by 9. Examples of divisibility. Let's look at an example here. Is 3, 4, 7, 5, 8 divisible by 3, 6 and 9? Let's look up its digit sum uh, here. Okay? Its digit sum is 3, 4, 7, 5, 8 is 9 and is even. So that means it's, it's uh, di divisible by 3, 6, and 9. It's, it's, and 3, 4, 7, 5, 8 is divisible by 3, 6, and 9. That's another example here. Is 9, 7, 1, 2, 7, 7 divisible by 3, 6, and 9. First of all, digit sum is of that number is 6 and number is odd here. That means it's divisible by only 3. By 3 and not by 6. And, and here the exercise is identify if the following numbers are divisible by 3, 6 and 9. Numbers are first number 9, 7, 1, 2, 7, 7. Next, 4, 7, 9, 6, 1, 8. Next, 7, 8, 5, 4, 8, 2. Next, 5, 0, 2, 7, 7, 1 and some more. References uh, the Vedic Math Teacher's Manual elementary level is a, a good reference for digit sums. Okay, and it's by Ken Williams. You can purchase that the same in the print form or get it in PDF form for free from uh, VedicMath.org. You can also get Hindi edition in PDF form and that's for free. Okay, it's Vedic Math Teacher's Manual elementary level by Ken Williams. And that's available from VedicMath.org. Print form is for purchase and PDF form, form is free. Okay. And the edition is also available in PDF form. Okay. Let us continue here.